the notes of a rover This is it, you're wearing the grove But right now, right now. your hope is close colder As we go Welcome back, my friends. It's Rocket here back again with Vladimir Guide Update after patch 8.9. Because we all know that this meta really needs some new variable built for Vladimir that can be used in every single game. And Riot is not helping us. We already had that build with old Spellbook, but that is not usable anymore since uh, Spellbook was changed. So I'm here to break their code, as I always did, and search for a new consistent Vladimir build. But I need to say that I'm confused, or I should say I was confused for a long time after patch 8.9 was released. Uh, it's true that we have many builds on Vladimir these days uh, that are played in all ranks from Bronze to Challenger. For example, a full AP build with Electrocute or Movement Speed Oriented build with Shurelia and Predator. Uh, some players still play with Spellbook and try to learn how to play with it correctly. Um, some players even use Airy or Phase Rush. All this is a result of new meta and Riot changes in last month and all Vladimir mates need to find a new way how to play Vladimir efficiently. So after all this being said, I plan to make Vladimir guide update with 5 possible builds and let you choose your way how to play him after patch 8.9. But I was not okay with this idea for some time at all, so uh, I was still searching for one optimal build and bingo, I found him. Probably. Do you remember times when we played Vladimir with Ghost and Stormrider search? It gave you 40% movement speed and 70% slow resist after you took 30% of target's max health within two and a half of a second. Uh, these times we remember as unstoppable high mobility Vladimir with solid damage and carry potential, so I tried to go back in the history and give an attempt to display style in new meta. And you know, result is absolutely amazing. You have potential to just running among your enemies, spam your abilities, delete them and avoid all skill shots while preparing game for the win. Uh, I found this playstyle as the most viable after patch 8.9 and I was able to be consistently strong in many games in a row. So let's check runes and build. All the magic is hidden in Keystone Phase Rush. It's almost the same as old Storm Raider, sometimes even easier to prod, and let you just ignore all slowing effects and run for your primary target. It fits even more into Vladimir's playstyle because it enhances your flash combo with huge movement speed boost while you can't be slow at all. Uh, you just go all in and phase rush is activated after your initial burst uh, almost all the time, so when you are easy to kill after your W among more enemy players, you have an option to avoid some critical skill shots or just run away fast. On laning phase it can help you to stay close to your target, deal damage and don't let them run away from you or to avoid an enemy gank. So its usability has a wide range, it helps low mobility Vladimir to make the plays and after 2 or 3 weeks of testing, in average it seems like the strongest and the most viable option for every game in my eyes. In the second line of sorcery room page you have only two options. Ultimate head which decreases cooldown of your ultimate by 5 to 15 percent or nullifying gore which gives you a magic shield after your HP is going under 30 percent caused by magic damage. Um, I prefer to play with ultimate head but in certain lane matchups and against AP team comps feel free to go for nullifying orb, it can save your life many times. The third line is more controversial because rune you choose here depends on your in-game build. Uh, if you like to build a movement speed build, celerity can be a good option because it gives you more AP according to your movement speed. Uh, Absolute focus has its usability when you are playing more AP focused Vladimir, so your flash combo can be even heavier if you have more than 70% of your HP. But I prefer to play with Transcendence the most because it helps you to rush a CD in-game faster and gives you a possibility to focus on stacking damage sooner in the game. Uh, this looks like a really good way uh, how to play Vladimir because you have stunning damage already in mid-game which most of players don't expect. Last line of sorcery has also two options. 
If you want to play aggressive laning phase, Scourge bonus damage can be annoying for melee laners especially, but it loses its purpose uh, later in the game, because, you know, 60 damage later is simply nothing. But Gathering Storm on the other side gives you nothing in early game, but after 20 minutes uh, it increases damage and heal from your spells by 20 AP and more on every single spell cast. So there is no doubt that if game is longer than 20 minutes, Gathering Storm can help you to carry games easier. In late game, especially after 40 minutes, uh, Gathering Storm provides 80 plus bonus AP, which is really huge with full build and Rebidon's AP bonus. So I have to say that I always go for Gathering Storm in this line. As the secondary room page, I prefer to play with Inspiration because of two things. First is Cosmic Insight, which gives you 5% CD on your spells, including summoner spells and active items. Uh, even after Spellbook was changed, Vlad still really depends on Flash Summoner spell. It's simply game-breaking situation if Vlad makes his combo correctly uh, among more enemy targets, and with Flash CD on 300 seconds, it's like ages sometimes. So I wanted to make build that reduce also Flash cooldown. Only way how to do it nowadays is to take Cosmic Insight and Billionian Boots so you can have cooldown on Flash 255 seconds. Second fact why I prefer to play with Inspiration as a secondary room page is change on stopwatch in last patch. They changed its cooldown to 8 minutes again and I found it pretty helpful on laning phase and enemy ganks. So, this is my preference in secondary room page, uh, but you can choose also different rooms in this tree. For example, magical foodware, biscuit delivery, future market or even dematerializer. It depends on your playstyle and also if you feel self-confident to handle and without bonus healing, bonus gold or free farm. Uh, as a secondary room page, there is also option to take Domination or even Resolve. Domination can provide more stacking AP, self-healing, more vision control or bonus true damage, and Resolve more tankiness. So I would let you choose your secondary room page, because on the other side it's truth that it doesn't have so big impact on the game in the end. That's all about runes, my friends, now let's check starting items on Vlad. As starting items, there is not any change from the beginning of Season 8. You can choose Duran Shield and Potion, Boots and 4 Potions, Dark Seal and 3 Potions, or my lovely way how to rush CD, Ruby Crystal and 2 Potions. Uh, usually I change this every single game depends on my lane matchup. If I know that uh, my laner will be aggressive and have a long range, then Ruby Crystal and 2 Potions is not a good way to go, because it doesn't provide so big bonus against pokers. Uh, then go for Doran Shell definitely. Also against Zed and other champions that try to poke you down and then all in, Doran Shell is really perfect to survive early game. If I know that I will be ok on lane, but my matcha will not allow me to get close enough to kill him, then Ruby Crystal is perfect for my build, because it gives you an option to go back with 1300 golds and buy 20 CD with bonus AP and health. That's the moment when you can fight almost every single mid lane matchup or survive easier because of faster CD too early in the game. Last option for starting items is when you want to play aggressive lane. Dark Seal and Free Potion is a good way to go because it gives you more damage and self healing so you can be more aggressive and bully your opponent. Uh, I usually go for Dark Seal when I play full AP Electrocute Vladimir. Uh, it's pretty much strong healing with Ravenous Hunter and Dark Seal early. Um, if you add to it some kills or assists so your Ravenous Hunter can stack up, every single Q is healing a lot for you then. So now let's see the build. If you saw my last guide update after patch 8.4, then there will be not much news for you. I tried many builds in my ranked games and I have to say that every build I was talking about in this guide already is situational and have its usability in certain games, but only one build looked like a decent option for every single game to me and it was full CD and AP focus build which we are playing already for some time. Uh, so first thing I'm rushing is full CD, I mean Kindle Gem, Fiendish Codex and Ionian Boots. You can build these three items in 10 or 12 minutes if you are farming really well or if you get some kills or assists early and with Transcendence and Cosmic Insight you are at full CD already. After these items you have more options. If you like more mobility with Protobelt you can finish it first and it's good decision against long range champions which are playing too safe and don't let you get close enough so you can surprise them with third Q coming, Protobelt into them and land Q. That's really strong poke damage for you while you lost only Protobelt CD which is back in 40 seconds so it's not a big deal for you. 
If you like a lot of burst damage, then I would recommend to build Rabadon after these items. Uh, this is the way I really like because Rabadon is the strongest damage item for AP carries these days. Uh, even if people are wondering uh, why is somebody rushing Rabadon first, I can tell you why. Imagine you have 20 AP on level 1, plus 30 AP from Fiendish Codex, and maybe 5 or 10 AP from Passive. So after rushing full CD, you have something like 60 AP. If you buy Rabadon into it, you have 180 AP and 40% bonus from Rabadon's passive, which is together 252 AP. On the other side, with Protobel Rush, you have 60 AP plus another 60 from Protobel, which is together 120 AP, plus active Protobel damage, which is something around 100 plus 25% of your AP. It means maybe 30 bonus damage, so your protobelt active can do 130 damage in early game. Now, let's see the difference what's better. To have 252 AP or 120 AP plus 130 bonus damage from another spell. This 130 bonus AP difference with the Rabadon is heavily increasing damage of your ultimate, your E, your Q gives you more bonus HP from passive and also more healing from all your abilities. So there is no doubt that against melee champions which are close to you all the time and fight you, Rabadon gives you a much more potential than rushing protobelt. Okay, we could also talk about gold costs of these items. It's true that you can build Protobel much faster than Rabadon, but still damage difference is quite big, so don't let others dictate what you should build. You know better now, bro. We already talked about everything essential from lobby to early game. Now let's see the full build. In short, you just rush full CD and then Protobel, Rabadon and Void Stuff. These three items are absolute core of Vladimir's damage. If you are ahead and finish it between 20 and 25th minute, that's the moment when you can literally 1v9. And even if you are not ahead with these three items, you can just one-shot squishies with your full combo. So that's why I really like to build it like that. Uh, after that, usually I go for Spellbinder and Zonia, but it depends how game is going and also on enemy team composition. Spellbinder and Zonias are good if you are playing against more squishy team comps. Uh, they usually try to guide you and don't let you do your full combo, so bonus movement speed is perfect to get close and Zonias to survive moments when your W is coming up again. Because, you know, squishy champions used to have big damage, so it can be deadly for you if you need to survive in teamfight another two or three seconds without Zonia or W. Against the more tanky team comps, I prefer to change Spellbinder for Morello, or even Leon Restorement, but that is not usual. Uh, most of the time I'm building magic penetration against tanks, so Morello is the way to go. Uh, other items you can go for on last two places are Realize, Banshee's Whale, well, Shurelia, Spirit Visage or even Twin Shadows, but I didn't test some of these items enough, so I would recommend to stick to build presented here. Ok guys, that's all about Vladimir Guide update on runes and build after page 8.9. I hope that it will help you to climb up or have more fun in Summoner's Rift. And I want to show you one more thing in this guide. Many people ask me how I'm doing flash combo with Vladimir that fast. Many people wanted to show also keyboard camera so they can see which fingers I'm using for it. So I'm gonna do it for you guys. Let's go into training center. So usually I use ring finger for Q, middle finger for W and index finger for E, R, Ignite and Flash. But if you want to do let's combo properly, you need to cast E while using ultimate before releasing it, so you can't use index finger for E. For this I'm using middle finger for E and index finger for Flash and ultimate immediately after that. Even with Ignite or Ghost and then move middle finger on W and index finger on number 3, which is my proto belt, and bingo, full combo is done. So let's check it slowly and then fast. Charge E with middle finger, flash into right position, ultimate plus ignite or ghost, and then move middle finger on W and proto belt into it. That's it, not a big deal, but uh, it needs some training, so go for training center game, put dummies in there and train it until you will be fast enough. Uh, usually I go for training center once in a few weeks and train it in, even after 1 million of mastery score with Vladimir because this combo can be so easily fucked up that training all the time can make you more precise while you will do less and less mistakes. So guys, just don't give up. It's definitely not one of the hardest combos in League of Legends. 
Thanks for watching guys one more time. I hope that you enjoy the guide. Feel free to ask me anything you want to know in comment section. And last thing I want to ask you for is uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me my friends because you know it takes much time to do videos like this with all the duties in real life. So it's really nice to see some results when I come back to home. Thanks guys, have a nice, have a nice day and good luck in Summoner 3. Peace out.